Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by Armitus Reviews. I'm Dave and on this channel, uh, I typically like to review guns, uh, gun gear and accessories, uh, and then sometimes I'll dabble in outdoor and camping gear, uh, like backpacks, things like that. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be kind of giving a, a review, a little bit of a, an overview as well of the Badlands Scout Backpack. If you want links to anything in this video, check out that down in the description below. Anything I can post on there will be down there for you to see, um, just for ease of use, things like that. So like I said, this is the Badlands Scout uh, backpack. It's primarily probably used as a hunting, uh, well, more like a, like a day pack, I guess. Not really, it's not, it's not a meat hauler, um, but it, it's more of a day pack if you're gonna be scouting or uh, you just wanna go on a hike or something like that. So this started out as a gift from my wife for Christmas uh, to kind of help me get some stuff to go hunting a little bit more because I'm trying to do that more. Um, and this has been a, a great little pack. Uh, I mean, it falls short as far as a hunting backpack for, to some of you, probably for some obvious reasons. And for those that don't find it as obvious, I'll kind of go over that. So first, as you can see, I mean, it's not a giant back. It's not a big backpack. It's, uh, it's fairly small. Um, like I said, it's like a, more of a day pack kind of kind of thing but I just wanted something to uh, kind of help me get out there do some scouting um, drive around the side by side hike around things like that to help me carry my gear it comes in the approach and the approach FX pattern their their, their camouflage pattern by Badlands um, one is kind of more of a greener more springy livelier uh, camo pattern and the other one's kind of more of a deserty brown kind of dead pattern. Um, just kind of, you can kind of pick one that kind of blends in with your season, your environment a little bit better. As you can see, there are some, uh, a couple of straps uh, along right here. You can adjust if you want to strap a, a bed roll or tent or hammock or whatever, anything that, uh, hiking sticks, anything that you might want to put there, you can do that. You've also got similar straps here. And then on uh, the spot right here, you got a zipper um, that's got a kind of a, the the backpack kind of goes over it to help protect it against uh, like water leaks and stuff. Um, it's a pretty big open, I mean, that's as deep as I can go. It's about halfway up my forearm. It's a pretty standard, uh, just big kind of open zippered pocket that doesn't have any kind of organizational features in this one. Um, just kind of a big open spot. On the side here, you got a nice little pocket. Um, again, about halfway down my forearm. It's probably roughly about the same height as that pouch. Um, just a little bit narrower, I guess. And then you've got a nice little stretchy uh, mesh pouch here on the side for whatever we fit in there. A water bottle, snacks, what have you. And then same exact uh, setup on this side, zippered pouch, um, stretchy mesh pouch. Um, same, same exact setup. Then you'd have what I'd kind of call the, uh, the secondary compartment. I mean, this right here seems like the biggest, right? Biggest compartment. And then you have this, and then you have the first pouch that I showed you. So this is the middle, uh, kind of the second biggest pouch uh, right here. And that's about as far back as it goes, probably about a little less than halfway down. You've got a zippered uh, mesh pocket right here. Hopefully you guys can see it on camera. Um, so you can zip that up if you want. Keep your keys in there so you don't lose those or any, your, your, anything, your tag, anything you find valuable that um, you definitely don't want to lose. But you might need quick access to so you can just zip that up and it's right there. You can see it. You can kind of uh, find it pretty quickly. Then we've got and this, this same pouch. It's pretty deep. I mean, it goes well past my elbow. I don't know if you can see that, but it does. And then other than that mesh pouch, there's no organization in there either. And all the zippers on here have these nice, big, uh, thick knurled um, zipper tabs. You can really get a good grip on it, even if your, your fingers are wet or, or cold. Um, I mean, they're nice big tabs, nice uh, rubbery, um, kind of knurled. Um, so it's got a nice nice grip on there. Really nice uh, zipper tabs. I haven't had any break on me. Um, and I've been pretty rough with it. So they, they've stood up really well. All right, so next we have the, the, main, the main compartment. Um, very big, goes almost to my shoulder if I was in there straight, right? Um, very 
very nice big big pouch um, and then right here so this is the main pouch right and then this um, is kind of like a little a little elastic wall type of thing um, primarily you would put your your water bladder in there um, to, and that kind of keeps it tight to the back kind of keeps it protected from um, anything else that's in your backpack but you can use it for whatever you want obviously um, probably hard for you guys to tell in the video um, maybe you can kind of see it since this is sticking up this backing is obviously flexible but it has a slight rigidity to it it's got a little bit of a foam um, padding in there to kind of keep that somewhat rigid um, but still flexible um, and that that is what your back will be touching primarily um, there's some good foam there with some ridges uh, let me see if I can show you guys that so there's kind of a, a mesh uh, kind of like a suspension system like it's it's a, it's a top mesh that's going to go against your back and hopefully provide some some gapping between your back and the pad to get for some breathability there's ridges that go horizontally across here um, to let airflow um, I'm a little bit meshing on the sides um, here as well and then meshing uh, kind of the padded mesh um, underneath the, the shoulder straps so you can your skin can breathe as well but if you're sweating you have some you know some some airflow to cool down and for the shoulder straps there's also you know a standard uh, uh, chest piece that goes around a um, little harness uh, just to keep those straps as, as wide or as narrow as you need it to, to be comfortable and secure. And this is kind of an elastic strap. So there's a little bit of give, uh, which is probably nice most times. Um, it's snug, but has a little bit of movement to not really be super tight and uncomfortable. The stitching down here and in a lot of other places has, uh, if I remember, I believe it's a Kevlar stitching um, to reinforce all these stitch points um, where there's gonna be like a lot of load, a lot of um, a kind of force being pulled on there. And on the strap, there's also some elastic um, kind of cross pieces. Um, so you can weave maybe molly. I don't, I mean, it wouldn't be probably super secure because it is elastic. Um, it might wiggle a little bit, but um, whatever you might want to put there, maybe like a, I couldn't do with this one um, because of the way that it's, uh, it attaches, but like a molly attachment or something that goes, can be pulled through or a knife or something. Um, it does have those there for you to use as you see fit or to route um, maybe a radio wire uh, for a microphone, something like that. As you can see, I attached a pouch here for my radio um, just with a zip tie. It was not very secure. I don't like it. I don't, don't recommend it. I need to take this off. I just haven't yet because I have switched bags, um, but it did, it did work for me. It served its purpose. Just it wasn't the best implementation, but it, I just kind of did it last minute. And on this side, this is a separate, uh, a separate Bedlands pouch I, I, I bought. Um, but I do have it attached to one of those elastic straps I was just talking about. Um, so kind of an example of, uh, again, not very secure, at least with this implementation, this pouch, but um, you can attach various things here. And on the sides, there are some uh, buckle straps here, not elastic, they're, they're, they're straight, just um, no movement buckles. You can tighten down, loosen. Um, again, it's got that, uh, I think it's like an aramid, if I remember right, stitching, all the yellow stitching here. Um, is uh, there for reinforcement and uh, right here for um, you know if you want to maybe put some hiking sticks there or maybe just like a hammock or anything that you could tuck in there um, I, I sometimes would put something through the strap and then I would just rest it in the elastic mesh pouch there and that worked just fine I think I might have forgot to mention inside the main pouch here where that water bladder sleeve is um, there's also two uh, little hooks here, um, kind of an open-ended hook that, that closes a little bit. Um, for keys, uh, I think I used it for um, a water bladder, um, just to help keep the water bladder up tight and not scrunching down to the bottom. I don't know if that's exactly what it's designed for, um, or if it's designed to hold keys, or both. I'm not sure. Um, but they are there to use as you see fit. They're not really, they got a little bit of give, but they're not elastic, they're just a rope. And then of course you have a carry handle here, again, if you can see that right here, it has that yellow um, stitching for reinforcement. So the stitches are very good, um, very strong. If I had to guess, I'd say that the shoulder straps are about a half an inch thick of padding, pretty good padding. 
stiff so it doesn't compress super easily but still soft where it's fairly comfortable um, so uh, the straps were great i never really had any issues with them um, the only real issue i had with this is it, it obviously and i was using it outside of what it's designed for um, it is not meant to haul a, like really heavy weight um, i tend to overpack i'm one of those guys where i don't pack light i kind of pack for every situation i might come across and so uh, i've used it duck hunting and so I'll have like boxes of ammo in there and then water or maybe some snacks and, you know, stuff like that. And it kind of adds up. But because there's no waste system, there's no belt system for this. Um, the, all that weight's all going on your shoulders uh, for the most part. You know, some of it's kind of distributed across the chest via that strap on. But, it, but again, that weight's still on your shoulders. And it can kind of make your shoulders get a little sore, kind of tires them out a little bit. Um, that's my, that was really my only like gripe with this. But again, that's not really a fair gripe because it's out kind of, it's kind of outside the use. Like I was probably loading this much heavier than it's really designed for. This is just like some, a pack I feel like designed for a day pack to um, just kind of carry the essentials on a little hike, you know? But I did carry a lot of weight in it, I feel like. I mean, I wasn't carrying hundreds of pounds, but um, I, I had it weighed down pretty good. And even though my shoulders got tired, it held up just fine. And for anyone who isn't aware of Badlands, they're a Utah company. Um, so local to me, which is one of the reasons I love supporting them and anything with the red bull skull on there, um, they say has their unconditional lifetime warranty. If you get a tear, I mean, if you get it caught on a branch and it just rips a big hole in it, you can send it to them. Um, there might be some shipping fees or something like that. I'm not hundred percent sure on that off the top of my head. Um, but you can send it in, they'll either repair it. If they can't, then they'll take care of you or whether that's replacing you with the same exact pack, if they still make it or something as close to value as possible. Um, you, can, you can look at their, their warranty policy on their website if you wanna know kind of all the nitty gritty details, but I've, I've been very happy with Badlands. I have another Badlands pack that is more, design, it is designed for meat hauling. Um, I'll do a video on that in the near future. Um, but I wanted to give you some, some thoughts on this pack because I have used it quite a bit. And uh, it's a good pack, just use it for what it's made for. <laughs> I hope that information was helpful to you guys. I'm gonna be doing giveaways um kind of just over time uh as i get different things that maybe i got doubles of or that i don't find myself i'm going to be needing i want to do giveaways kind of give a little bit back to uh my viewers so be sure to check out the links down in the description below um, to see my socials on on the giveaways and things like that let me know if you have any questions about anything that i reviewed and uh, or if you have any suggestions on suggestions on things to review then i'll do my best to do that and get that out for you uh, but in the meantime, thanks for watching and take care.